Tori. <laughs> So, how long have you been a CASA volunteer? I have been a CASA volunteer for six years. And in those six years, I've had four cases, you being my fourth. What does being a CASA mean to you? Yeah, that's a loaded question. Um, being a CASA means to me that I can help children with their brokenness make them believe in themselves, build them up, give them a hand up. That's what that means to me. Why did you just be my CASA? I was drawn to your case just because of everything that you went through and my heart was just really aching for you and I thought, I wanna help you. I wanna get you to the other side of where your past doesn't define you anymore and you look forward to the future and your potential. What was your first impression of me? Um, I could tell that you were very nervous. I could tell you were very uptight. And, and like you said, I'm very peppy and you were not. So I was worried that I was a little too much for you. I was also worried that maybe you wouldn't like me so I, I think we finally got to the other side. Do you regret being a CASA worker? Absolutely not. It gives me so much joy. I would do it a hundred times over. Tori, how do you feel your experience with me being your CASA was in the last year and a half? It was good. It was definitely more than I expected. I expected someone that wouldn't care about me or would only just see me as like, okay, this is a job. Once I'm done, we're done. But it's been really nice knowing that you do care and you will come to like my events and be like the brown cheering person in the station in a section which I never had going up as a child. Do you remember what our, our this is kind of cheesy sorry what our favorite quote is from what movie? I don't remember that. Lilo and Stitch. Oh Ahonomy family family means no one gets forgotten or left behind. Yep that's our motto no one gets forgotten or left behind. Mm -hmm. Um, would you say to someone that's coming into the system that's going to get a CASA, would you think that was a good thing for them? I would think yes it is because even though the court system is broken, it's good to have someone on your side still turn you on to make sure that you know that even though you might not get the outcome that you want, somewhat, you do get an outcome and a choice that you do get to make and someone does care about you. If you had to look at the Tory when we first met to the Tory right now, what would you say? I would say it's okay. It's everything's gonna get better. You're going to find someone that cares about you. You're gonna find someone who you like to help you with your mental health and it will get brighter and better. In 10 years, what are you gonna remember most about CASA? I'm gonna remember uh, going to the event, I don't remember what it was called, but like it's the thing where we went and like you went about business sense and you got gifts and prizes. And it was honestly just so much fun and they were just so nice because I had a dairy allergy and they were like, okay, since you can't eat pizza, we'll go and order you nuggets, something that you can eat so you won't starve during this event. And I found it so sweet because like people, I didn't, it made me feel bad because I don't like people spending money on me, but I'm like, oh, that's so nice. <laughs> In 10 years, what are you gonna remember most about this time? In 10 years, I'm going to remember, one, in 10 years, we're still going to be friends. <laughs> Two, that you succeeded. And I'm going to be watching you graduate from college, and I'm going to watch you grow up to be successful, and you're going to go and help other people in the exact same situation as you. Mm -hmm. What would you tell someone that's thinking about becoming a CASA volunteer? As someone who wants to become a CASA volunteer, I would say pick someone that's in your age range that you like. Like, don't if you're not a fan of young children, don't work with young children. Get someone that you relate to, and just hope that you vibe with them and be okay if they don't vibe with you and be okay if they want to switch because it's just life. You don't always get along with someone that you're assigned to. What would you have missed out on if you were not my CASA for the last couple of years? I would have missed out on seeing you just grow and flourish and blossom into the adult that you're supposed to be. And you've grown so much in the last two years, it's unbelievable. And I'm very proud of you, very proud of you.
Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>